Okay, the saxophone is a good instrument that can show you how you can create different types of sound. So first of all, saxophone is considered uh, in the woodwind section because of its reed. This reed here vibrates up and down and creates a sound wave that travels down the instrument. Now, depending on how far down the instrument depends on actually the pitch of sound. So for example, all the notes, they either release the sound close to the top, making a high pitch, or um, down at the bottom, or completely through the instrument, which makes a low pitch. So, if I was to play some high notes... Then that's uh, releasing all the valves at the top of the instrument. If I wanted to play some low notes, and make the sound travel right through the, the sax... wanted to play some medium notes or a range of high and, and low, you can see how the keys work to actually change the pitch. Okay, the way the guitar works is you have different types of strings. You've got thick strings, which make low sounds, and then as you go lower or down the board, The strings actually get thinner, so they actually sound higher, okay? Now as you change the length of the strings, okay, as you change the length of the strings, you're actually changing the pitch. So up here it's very high, and as you get lower, and when you're on the lower string, hear how low that is. Alright, so it's just by changing the length. Okay, so um, you can do that not just to the individual strings, but the whole chords. Alright, easy! Alright, so what's happening is when the strings are vibrating as well, you've got this um, chamber here that actually helps the sound resonate through, kind of almost like an echo, and then it comes out the hole again and it makes a really nice sound, okay? And that's why the pickups are often in the um, bottom of the guitar, because once the, the sound resonates, it sounds much nice. So. Okay, I don't actually have the luxury of having many more instruments, but I've got one instrument here known as a guitar, which has got almost any instrument that you could want. So I wanted to talk to you about the different waveforms of sound in regards to musical instruments. Um, take something like a, an electric guitar, okay, that's going to have quite a rugged kind of um, square-like waveform, okay, if you were to look at the sound waves being produced on a crow, so you, you can think, like, if you think of the, the sound, it's quite a rugged, harsh sound, something like this. Okay, but if you were to take something a little bit more chilled, say, um, the, kind of like the Irish flute, then you're going to see that it's, it's going to have a much softer, more even waveform actually made, okay? See how it's just a lot less harsh? And uh, this instrument is quite cool, actually, because you can even change the pitch, all right, which, um, like I, I talked to you about the saxophone, depends on how much the air is actually going through. Uh, but if, we, if you watch this...
let's look at some other instruments like trumpets. They they have quite a harsh waveform. <laughs> Take a beautiful violin or something like that. What do you think that would have? That would have a very smooth waveform, okay? Try the next one. What about a, um, let's get a, some kind of organ on. Okay, that would, that would also have a kind of moderately smooth waveform. Uh, one of my favorites. Da 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 